Most of you are already familiar with ChatGPT. It's the latest conversational AI model to be released by OpenAI. It allows you to write really high quality fiction and nonfiction content. You can write and edit code. You can also create marketing and lesson plans and do a lot of really important and useful tasks using ChatGPT. But you may not be familiar with the ChatGPT extensions that you can use alongside with ChatGPT to really maximize your output and the overall functionality of ChatGPT. So after doing some research, here are eight of the most powerful extensions that you can use to get the most out of ChatGPT. The first and one of the most popular ChatGPT extensions is called Merlin. So Merlin allows you to be able to access ChatGPT from anywhere on the internet. Right now, the main limitation with ChatGPT is that it's only available as a web app. So you have to be on that app to start generating content, and then you have to copy that content and paste it anywhere in which you would like. This extension allows you to have instant access to ChatGPT. So for example, let's say I'm on a web page and I want to access Merlin. All I would have to do is copy that content, hit the command M button. And as you can see here, Merlin will pop up. So our selected content will be um, populated here. And this is so that the AI has more context as to what type of content in which we're creating. So from this content, I can then ask the AI to do various tasks. For example, I can ask Merlin to rewrite this content in the voice of Barack Obama. And as you can see here, it would actually go ahead and rewrite that content uh, in that tone of voice in which I selected. You could also ask the AI to expand on the selected content. And if you wanted to refresh and get another um, content generated, again, you can go ahead and click the refresh button and you will have some um, other outputs in which you can choose from. Essentially, anything you can ask ChatGPT, you can also um, do that on this Chrome extension. And they also have a tweet and Discord button included within your content. So if you would like to tweet your content directly, you can also do that. Or if you'd like to send your content over to Discord, you can do that as well. So that's a nice feature that's uh, been included into Merlin that we don't see uh, currently on ChatGPT. If you like to uh, tweet your content or post it on your social media, you would have to copy your content over manually and then paste it in if you are using ChatGPT. So a couple of really useful and um, very powerful features included here in Merlin. So that's the first Chrome extension that you can use to help you get the most out of ChatGPT. And just a quick reminder that the giveaway is still going on. So if you would like to win a free AI tool or software, all you have to do is join the Discord server and you'll automatically be entered for a new giveaway each month. If you would like to enter the giveaway, I'll leave a link for the Discord server below this video. Now let's continue. My second favorite ChatGPT extension is CodeGPT. This is a coding specific extension, which allows you to generate code, explain code, ask questions, refactor code, document code, and find problems within your code. So if you're using ChatGPT for very specific coding use cases, then this would be the perfect Chrome extension for you. Just think of it as a coding assistant that you have that allows you to work through very specific uh, coding use cases when using ChatGPT. So again, if uh, coding is one of your main use cases of ChatGPT, then this would be a great Chrome extension for you to add to your list. My third ChatGPT extension is called God in a Box, and this allows you to be able to integrate ChatGPT with WhatsApp. So essentially, um, you can integrate it on WhatsApp and ask ChatGPT any questions, and you'll be able to have access to that output all within your WhatsApp messages. So essentially, it's like you having your own personal message with ChatGPT, but instead of having to do it on their web app, you can do it on your WhatsApp messages. So pretty cool uh, and neat feature if you want to have a convenient way to access ChatGPT. Now do keep but do keep in mind that this extension is free for up to 10 messages a month. But if you want unlimited messages, then you would need to pay $9 per month. So if this is something that would be useful to you and you would like to have um, ChatGPT integrated with your WhatsApp, then uh, you can go ahead and grab this extension. My next favorite ChatGPT extension is called ChatGPT for Google. Essentially, this allows you to be able to have a ChatGPT response alongside your Google search engine results. So once you search something up on Google, that will automatically be inputted into ChatGPT. So you'll be able to see the Google search results, but you'll also be able to see the ChatGPT results side by side. When you're setting up this extension, there's a couple of different methods that you can choose that allows you to know when the ChatGPT results will be shown up. For example, you can keep it checked to always. So every time you search something up on Google, a ChatGPT search will also happen and you'll be able to see the results side by side. 
you can change it so that only when you add a question mark, then the chat GPT results will show up or you can keep it so that it's manual. So every time you search up something, you can manually click a button and then chat GPT, um, their output will then show up on Google. So again, you have a couple of different options to choose from just dependent on your use case and how you would like to use this extension. For this example, I've left it to always. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like on the Google search results. So I've went ahead and searched up what is SEO. And as we can see here, this is the regular SERP results. On the right hand side, we can also see what we're getting back from chat GPT. So again, this just allows you to really um, compare the results in which you're getting back from Google and from chat GPT. If you're looking for some definitions, then maybe chat GPT will be better. So you can get a quick um, explanation or description of whatever you're searching up. And then you can copy that and use that within your content or whatever um, research you're doing. As you can see, this is a pretty useful Chrome extension because you're able to get side by side comparisons of what Google is giving you and what you're getting back from chat GPT. And also I've noticed that Merlin is also included within our Google SERP results. So that is the first Chrome extension in which we reviewed. And as you can see here, it's not automatic, but you're able to search up um, using Merlin and it will pull whatever uh, search query you entered into Google. So again, you have a couple of different methods in which you can um, integrate ChatGPT with your Google search results. My next favorite ChatGPT extension allows you to do voice searches on ChatGPT. If we head over to ChatGPT, as you can see here, the only way in which you can input content is by manually typing it out within this toolbar at the bottom of ChatGPT. But with this extension, you will now have the option to hold the space bar and you'll be able to use your mic to give voice prompts to ChatGPT. So essentially, you can use ChatGPT like Siri or Alexa, and if you have some accessibility issues or just for comfort and ease of use, you can now be able to do voice searches on ChatGPT. Once you've downloaded the Chrome extension, all you have to do is hold the space bar button down and you can then do voice searches or voice prompts on ChatGPT. So I don't need to manually write anything. I can just hold down the space bar. ChatGPT, write me an essay about democracy. Okay, and as you can see here, um, we're able to get back some output. Of course, it really didn't pick up exactly what I said um, correctly, but again, it just makes it very easy and very accessible for anyone to be able to use ChatGPT. So if you would like to do voice prompts with ChatGPT, then I would recommend this extension. Another really cool ChatGPT extension that I came across is called WebChatGPT. So the main issue with ChatGPT at this time is that it's only trained on content up to 2021. So you're not able to get very relevant or up-to-date content when uh, doing searches or generating content on ChatGPT. So this tool allows you uh, to be able to have the option to search on the web for specific search queries and get the most up-to-date information. So once you download the Chrome extension, it'll automatically be updated onto chat GPT. So we can see at the bottom here, we now have the ability to search on the web um, for our specific inputs. For example, I asked chat GPT to tell me what the weather is today in Toronto. And as you can see here, we got the original content from chat GPT, but above here, we got the web search results. And I'm pretty sure that's from the Chrome extension. And we got um, some specific information in terms of weather, and we got the URLs in which that content was taken from. So uh, a pretty cool um, Chrome extension here. Uh, if you're writing more up-to-date or relevant information, or if you need to add sources into your content, then you can definitely um, use this with ChatGPT to make sure that you're getting the most up-to-date and the most relevant information. So if you're looking for more current events and looking to include that within your content, this would be a really useful Chrome extension to check out. And the last ChatGPT extension that I wanna take a look at is called Fancy GPT. So Fancy GPT allows you to beautify your chat GPT threads. You can store them for future reference or you can share them with others um, and create images, searchable PDFs and so on. And like most of the other extensions, it's pretty easy to use. All you have to do is add that onto your Chrome extensions, head back over to chat GPT. And once you've generated some outputs, you want to go to your extensions, click Fancy GPT. And then you want to make your chat GPT fancy. It's going to open a separate page. And this is where you'd be able to choose your style. So you can choose the different styles in which you would like to use for chat GPT. So you can use sketch, you can use neon, you can use dark, you can use light. Um, and then as you can see here below will be the outputs in which you generated from chat GPT. So again, this is the fancy GPT version, and this is the original version here. 
So if you would like to, you can save it as an image, you can save it as a PDF, or you can save it as a text file. So this again is kind of a nice to have um, in terms of a Google Chrome extension. It really doesn't improve um, any of the content in which you're getting back, but if for some reason you've created a table or you've created a document and you want to save that as a PDF directly, then this could be useful um, because it would save you some time rather than having to copy and then paste it over. And also, if you wanted to play around with the styles, you can also go ahead and do that as well, just for um, some visual aspects if you like to do so. So those are some of my personal favorites and some of the most powerful ChatGPT extensions that I've come across so far. Let me know in the comments below which ones you like the best and if there's any other extensions that you're using that I haven't mentioned in this video. As you can see here, I went from having a plain old ChatGPT text box and all having some pretty cool features that allow me to really experiment and try to get the best quality and the most relevant content that I can when using ChatGPT. As always, if you like this video or if you learned something new, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.